Hi guys, this is just a quick tutorial video on how you can install Skyrim Together. If you've never heard of Skyrim Together, then you're missing out. It's essentially a multiplayer mod for Skyrim and it makes it 10 times more fun. So if you want to install this mod, stay tuned and we'll go through the quick easy steps for you now. Before you get started, you will need two things. One, a PC, sorry console gang, and two, a copy of Skyrim Special Edition. You can use the Anniversary Edition and there's a different mod for that. However, this video is solely for Skyrim Together on the Special Edition version. In order to play Skyrim Together, you need the Harbour application. I've added a link to the file in the description below. This is the link that everyone else uses and you'll see widely advertised. Once you click on the link, it'll take you to GitHub and the version you want is 1.0.6. This is the latest and greatest version of the Harbour application. The setup wizard is very straightforward and it shouldn't take longer than 30 seconds to fully install. When it finishes, it will give you an option to launch Harbour, which is very much okay to do, and you should be presented with a screen like so. Once the Harbour application has been installed, there's one more thing we need to do before we launch anything, and that is you need to make sure that your version of Skyrim it has been downgraded. The problem is with the Harbour application, it only runs with a particular version and newer versions can cause issues. Next up on our list, we'll have to go to the Nexus Mods website, which has the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition downgrader patcher. Now, you'll need to do manual download. It is quite large and size about three gigabytes, but once downloaded, it should place an exe file on your machine. Once downloaded, double click the exe and you should get a prompt to say it can't find the Skyrim files, but don't panic, that's perfectly normal. All you have to do after that is click on the folder above where it says start patching, locate the installation files for the original exe file for Skyrim, and then just click open. Once done, click start patching, and then it will go through and start updating some files. Essentially what this is doing, it's taking away certain files which are added as part of the Anniversary Edition and any later patches, just so it can run smoothly with the Skyrim Together patch. Once successfully ran, you should see a message at the top where it says, finish patching, enjoy your game. Once completed, load up the Harbour application. You'll need to actually locate the installation files. And for me, it was under Windows C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Skyrim. Click that folder and then it should go through and do an integrity check, as well as an update where it will start unloading some files which are required in order to play Skyrim together. One particular issue that I've actually ran into is that when I actually click on play, it will come up with a Java error. Now, the reason for this is because my antivirus is actually blocking the file from loading. For whatever reason, it thinks it's a virus. I have tried to add the file to the exception list, but it doesn't seem to work. So the easiest solution for me was to just deactivate antivirus whenever I launch Harbour. I'm not saying I have it deactivated the whole time, just simply when you go to launch the application and then you can tab back out and turn it back on. This shouldn't affect your ability to play with other players. It's just simply that it doesn't like the launch for whatever reason. I'm not a coding specialist, so I can't tell you as to why. Maybe some nerd in the comments can. But as you can see, once it has been deactivated, the game loads up absolutely fine. As I said, tab out, turn the antivirus back on, and you're good to go. If you don't see the Skyrim emblem split in half, it means it hasn't launched properly and it hasn't loaded. And for that, you might just need to go back, uninstall and reinstall Skyrim. Once you have loaded up the game, you'll notice in the top left corner, you have some icons tracking your packet losses and data and all that sort of jazz. Now, in order to actually connect to a server, you need to push the right control button on your keyboard, and this will bring up a menu where you can then connect to any servers you would like. It's worth noting as well, if you want to play with friends and you want it to run smoothly, make sure you have the same mods installed because if the mods clash, then you might end up seeing all sorts of funky stuff on your screen, which your friend won't see. Another thing to note is that the game can crash from time to time. So make sure you are saving regularly. And I would honestly suggest just doing this on a new tune. Just in my friend circle, I have noticed that people will complete the main quest. Um, it can cause issues where you'll go into an instance and there'll be storm cloaks and imperials everywhere and it just goes all messy and fucky. But if you have any questions, uh, comment below. There are forums with like more in-depth troubleshooting, but for the most part, I've tried this with all my friends and it seems to work. If it doesn't work, it might be to do with your version of Skyrim or just that you are cursed and there's nothing that can be done. Anyway, thanks for listening and uh, maybe I'll catch you on Skyrim sometime. Peace.